Welcome to the insanely bad triple threat setup. The insanely bad triple threat setup that will determine the next challenger for Roman Reigns. Let me tell you why this match is a bad idea. Okay, so what do we have in this match? Randy Orton versus AJ Styles versus LA Knight. These are three super over guys, super popular guys right now. Two of them returned less than a month ago. So this is a recipe for disaster. There is no logical winner that can benefit from this situation. The only person that can kind of benefit from all of that setup is AJ Styles. Only because the other two can kind of take the L. Even though Randy Orton returned at Survivor Series and if he loses that match, that's kind of gonna kill his momentum. But look at the others. LA Knight was super hyped up about Crown Jewel. And after his loss, he's a little bit on a downward spiral. Yeah, everyone is chanting, yeah, we, whose game is it, LA Knight, and all of that stuff. But two L's in a row, it's kind of going to be disappointing. So let's say that LA Knight should not win that triple threat match and should not go into the Royal Rumble match just because if he takes the L, probably people are going to be super disappointed. We all know that Roman Reigns is going to retain that match. We all know that. It's not even believable that someone will dethrone him from these guys. So, why I think AJ Styles is the most logical choice. He just returned. And he's not super hyped up. So, maybe if he wins the match... Maybe we can build that storyline and maybe Roman can elevate him into another level. Kind of, AJ Styles is a little bit in a gray area right now. Is he going for a championship? What is happening with the OC? What is happening with him being hostile to everyone? He was super friendly with everyone before he was injured. I guess... He's hostile because he got injured for two months or whatever. I was about to make a video how the return of AJ Styles is the best return we had, even over CM Punk, even over Orton, storyline-wise. Just because he came back, he kicked the butt of the bloodline, but at the same time he attacked LA Knight. Just because LA Knight took his spot, just because LA Knight was on his way, just because AJ Styles wants nothing more than to kick the bloodline's ass. So what do we have? Triple threat match, recipe for disaster, whatever you want to call it. But whoever wins is a L. The only logical option is AJ Styles. And even if AJ Styles wins, it's gonna be disappointing for Orton. It's gonna be disappointing for LA Knight. Because we're waiting for Orton two years. We're waiting for him two years in order for him to not even be able to qualify for a match. Do you know what would be crazy? Do you know what would be really crazy? If this match on the Rumble is actually a fatal four-way match. But the thing is, if we have a fatal four-way match and Reigns retains, what are we doing? That means that he's untouchable. Everyone knows that he's untouchable, but Kayfabe wise, it's, he's not untouchable. There is one guy who beat him, Seth Rollins. And of course, Seth Rollins is not gonna be the guy who's gonna dethrone him. We're preparing Cody Rhodes to dethrone him, probably at WrestleMania. I'm not gonna be mad if Roman Reigns retains at WrestleMania. But the thing is, with Roman retaining that much, is that everyone else just goes into a downward spiral. I don't know if it's because of their characters, I don't know if it's because of something else, but just having a show without the title being available, vulnerable, is just predictable and not interesting. You know that all of these people are hungry, but it doesn't matter how hungry they are, 
they can never touch the title. I'm looking forward to watch that match. I'm looking forward to watch that triple threat. I'm looking forward to watch the Royal Rumble. But I'm looking forward for all of you, the disappointed fans. Because all you can do is cry on Twitter. Thank you.